France or Portugal? France. Totally different. Portugal. That's easy. France, because I've never been to Portugal. I love them both. I've been to Portugal. But Portugal looks sick. Maybe I like Portugal. I might split it down the middle and go Spain. Portugal is sick too, though. France. There you are. What are you at? call it the gravier because it's like hitting gravel. Instead of getting washed in, you pop up and you're in the exact same spot and the shore's only like 10 feet away. If you have a good session out there, then uh, you're just covered in sand for days. France is a very special place because the, you got the tides, you got the banks, you got the wind. So it's really hard to time it right. And um, yesterday afternoon, it was one of those days that it just comes on all the way. And the tide was high, and that's what we need over here. The wind stayed offshore the whole day, which rarely happens. Days like this, we don't get them often. And when it's pumping, even if I'm out of energy, I don't really care. As long as I'm not passing out, I'm going to stay out till, till, till there's no more battles left. happen here if you show up here at night there is always people they will tell you where to go where the party are and everything so if you're here you're fine if you're like on the other street try to come back here I like this place and it's like picture perfect as well for for Instagram everyone from the quickie pro are coming here because good coffee so they're using almond milk and because French are like loving the cow milk and like all that and of course Louvain it's like the second place that they just opened Phil is such a legend, he will make you try every single fish or chicken that he has or the new recipe of his salsa and always the best welcoming and yeah. Now this time of the year it's a bit crowded because of the Quickie Pro but either than that it's like empty and everything's closed and you can't do anything. 
and it's normally rainy so yeah <laughs> but today it's really pretty pretty day These are some of the best aerialists in the world. This ain't all of them though. For sure, these guys are all the best aerialists in the world. For sure, these guys are the best. A good chunk of the best guys are here, for sure. Yeah, they're all the best aerialists in this town. The best free surfers in the world. The best free surfers in the world are probably the best aerialists in the world. I wouldn't have came if I didn't think I was gonna win it. I'm the pick. Yeah, well, I don't wanna pick anyone because I don't wanna give them none of my little juju love luck, so. You know, obviously we got the best of the best guys here and it's really cool to bring it to the best, biggest platform in surfing. Basically, it took me like a couple of years to really get this thing going off the ground. It's kind of my baby of sorts. You know, I got to grow up in this era of air shows back in the early 2000s, and then that kind of filled to me into the tour. And I me, mean, I don't think I ever would have been or got to the stage I would have got to if I hadn't have had the air shows. And basically, you guys are all chosen to be here to all the kids to look up to and that. <laughs> There's two rounds, everyone surfs twice, six man heats, and you'll be mixed from your first round heat to your second round heat. Best two airs across your two heats, like leaderboard format, has going to be no priority, so gentlemen's rules. And so best two airs, but your best air is doubled. If someone gets eight, it'll beat someone with, and doesn't get a backup, it'll beat someone with two fives. You know, to get in that excellent range, it's got to be something that you guys would drop on your video parts and stuff like that. Now my plan was to land one, so then I could free the mind. Good for little puns. Should I air reverse and drop up? <laughs> I accidentally did a double grab. <laughs> this guy did. <laughs> I did the modern day chop hop, stomped it. <laughs> I just did like kind of a punt out to the flat, but it was a modern day chop hop. No, it was like a quick, just slow grab. <laughs> And then a huge chair. <laughs> I got it too. That was sick. Oh yeah. And by the way, you guys all made the final, so you qualified for the tour for next year. Yeah. Who needs to do the CT anyways? I got a job, man. <laughs> Pretty much sealed that thing in like the first three minutes of an hour final. <laughs> Bring it home. <laughs> I'm talking about how I snaked you. He's over me. Look at him. He's done. He's down. So the driver was like, "Oh, you should step off," and I was like, "Yeah, I think I will." I mean, I would have. I was kind of like right when you spot. Yeah. But, uh, all good. <laughs> and Griffin said he was yelling at me, giving me the finger because I snaked him, kind of. I was scratching my head like, is that count or like, what's up with that? I don't even know where Portugal is from here. Can you drive? Probably fly. It's better to drive. <laughs> How far is the drive? I'd road trip. I don't even know where we are on the, on the map. I prefer to drive. Sometimes fly, sometimes drive.
Sebastian. Sebastian is right here. Franz is over there. My name is Adule Damendia. Uh, I am the second generation of a company that is called Pucas. This used to be the Pucas factory. And on June 19th, 2017, we had a short circuit. You know, that little wire that went crazy in the hottest day of the year. And when I arrived, I could see that flame so thick, so big, coming out of the window. And the fire, you could see that from the city of San Sebastian, of course, from Farad, and even from France. I mean, the smoke was huge. It was devastating to see that. Because it wasn't just only the new product that it's coming out of the factory, but it was also all the history, all the boards that have been used. We had boards from Rain Reynolds, from Colaje, from Gabriel Medina, from the very best. So many, Reno Avelira, Wade Tokoro, Chile, DHD, Maurice Cole. Nowadays, it's Matt Bayolos, Chris Christensen. You know, it's the very best, I guess, from all over the world. And it was actually my dad who started, you know, making surfboards as a living with a bunch of friends. That was 1973. Then it was my mom who was really in love with my dad. She started sewing bikinis. So as we speak now, always is Pukas, is surfboards and bikinis. It's, it, was, it was close for a lot of people. But the good thing is after that, it was, I guess, that same night that everybody was already like thinking how we start doing surfboards again. Not in a month, no, no, tomorrow. This has been running for 45 years already. And so we're looking forward for another chapter, maybe 45, maybe 55, 65, I don't know. But I mean, we love surfing, that's for sure. There you say, let's just start speaking in Portuguese. You're, we're speaking Portuguese here, we're not translating anything, and you figure it out. And I'm like, all right. So it's pretty much, I mean, I don't really know how to explain it that well, but it's egg custard. If you do a direct translation, <laughs> pasta. In Portuguese, you say pasta. So I like the one that's more uh, burnt. It tastes like Portugal. The way like the chairs are set up, the way like every, every, everything is, it's like really like warm and welcoming, and I feel like it's made so like people can interact with each other. You know, Panish is sick. I think it has, I mean, for me, it's like some of my favorite waves in the world, like with the beach breaks and everything, but somewhere in the middle with Irisera, 25 minutes away from Lisbon, 45 minutes to Panish, an hour to Nazare. And obviously there is waves, you know, there's beach breaks, there's reef breaks, there's slabs. And that's why it's good, you know, it's like, it's fresh. I'm in paradise, I never want to leave. And, and uh, you know, it's nice because I get to surf a bunch and hang out and catch the vibe. Você escolhe como que joga Cautela a cada avanço Sem perdão pra quem se empolga A toda prova Um risco a cada jogada Adrenalina é prêmio Pra quem não espera nada Objetivo, motivo, treino diário Pra não passar em vão Cada folha no calendário Fazer valer a pena Cada face concluída E não desperdiçar A chance de uma vida Fase repetida Desse jogo não existe Quem só ser jogador Ou só quem assiste Cada passo define O rumo seguinte Sem dar atenção Pra quem Só dá palpite, limite só existe Pra quem se limita Se o jogo é seu então, quem é que apita? Infinitação, a forma de jogar Mas só uma dessas te levam a acertar